The FDA authorized the first antiviral pill, Paxlovid, developed by Pfizer, is a five-day regimen. It decreases the chance of severe illness by 90%. Merck is also requesting emergency use authorization for its pill. And joining us right now, Dr. David Zeke with Northwestern Medicine. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. This sounds like positive news. While we have seen the rise in Omicron, the medical community seems to be making a lot of progress in preventing severe illness, deaths, hospitalizations. Is it too early to celebrate a little bit? No, not at all. I think this is a big advancement, that's for sure. However, as we're going to talk about, this is not for everybody, nor is it needed for everybody. But yes, it's a big step forward. Talk a little bit about this treatment. The pill is taken in combination with a second medication. You said not everybody's going to take it. So why don't we start there? Who is this particular treatment for? This is for people who are specifically at high risk for complications of the virus. We know that the Omicron virus appears to be less lethal than other versions of the coronavirus. So for most people, especially those who are vaccinated and otherwise healthy, they do not need this pill. The FDA is actually approving it only for those at high risk. The problem is also supply. Right now, there's about 180,000 total doses available, and that's just not enough for our country. Uh, by the end of 2022, there's going to be about 80 million doses available, but right now it's very selective as to who actually is going to be able to get it. So I got to ask you two things, and I want to make sure I don't leave anything out. The one is that you mentioned that we know as a medical community, these are your words, that Omicron is less lethal than other strains. What is the prognosis for somebody who ends up getting hospitalized with Omicron? They're going to survive, but they may go through a little bit of a battle to get there. Is that right? That's correct. But so first of all, very few people who are vaccinated are going to need to be hospitalized. I've had many, many breakthrough cases in my own practice in the last week. And most of the people are experiencing mild cold-like symptoms. They don't need any treatment at all. I do want to mention something about the monoclonal antibody treatment. This is something that was the only treatment we had for outpatient uh, treatment of the virus. The problem is monoclonal antibodies bind a particular part of the virus called the spike protein. And unfortunately, Omicron has so much um, mutation in the spike protein that Regeneron is considered pretty much ineffective for treatment. So they mentioned in the previous story, they're running out of it. Here in Chicago, they're actually not giving it for Omicron because it doesn't work. Mm. The pill, however, is expected to work. It doesn't bind the virus. It doesn't look for the protein. Instead, this pill interrupts the machinery that the virus uses to replicate. It doesn't matter if it's Omicron or Delta or the original coronavirus, it all uses the same machinery to replicate and this pill blocks that, which is effective against all versions of coronavirus. And again, this would be for those, as you've said and emphatically, who have pre-existing conditions or are considered high risk. But for those who are vaccinated, some people are describing the symptoms to be like mild allergies or the cold. Um, thank That's you That's right, so much. they don't need it. The yeah. other thing you need to get this pill is a positive COVID test. Right. So there are many people out there thinking, oh, I'm gonna ask my doctor to give me a prescription just in case I need it. That's gonna waste a whole bunch of, uh, of pills and you can't do that. You need an actual positive coronavirus test. You go to a doctor, they issue the prescription and then you can get it if you, uh, if you qualify. Okay, Dr. Zeke, thank you so much uh, for breaking down this newest pill, this newest treatment, again, for high-risk patients. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.